live from the set of Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. <clears throat> How are you today? I'm great. <laughs> Tell us your name. <laughs> My name is Kevin Mezek. What's next? What do you do on this production? I'm the first AC, I pull focus for Phil. Working with my boy Alex over here is the ACs. Hey yo. Here we go. What's up, what's up, what's up? How's What's next? How's the day going? Today's actually going great. Loden wasn't bad. I'm actually eating something that's way better than sweet green. There's more dressing on this salad. I like the whole crew. Everyone's super cool. They all laugh at my jokes, so. Things are great. <laughs> like, <laughs> anything else you want to know? <laughs> What's been your, your favorite thing to shoot so far? Everything we shot so far? Yeah, what was your favorite shot? I like the very beginning when we got the macro shot of him picking his teeth like right in the window to open. I think that really sets the tone. <laughs> and uh, I think, Phil, we're about to do it again in the bathroom too. And I'm a big, big fan, big proponent of... Is that the right word? Proponent? Yeah, yeah, you're pro that. All right. Yeah, I'm proponent to more macro shots of the teeth. I feel like that really drives the point of this story home. So Phil's laughing at me, but he knows he agrees. So. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most poignant part of this script for you? The most poignant part? Oh, definitely. I mean, we haven't filmed it yet, but the teeth pull, I think, is the most insane thing ever that you don't expect. It's very dystopian. It's very like true to like the spirit of the times. I really mean that. What? Oh, great interview. Uh, thanks. No, I mean, seriously. Yeah, no, see, yeah, Phil's laughing at me. Yeah, the teeth, the teeth ball is fucking insane. So I'm very excited to shoot that tomorrow. Thank you for your time. <laughs> it was good, dog. It was good. How's Leo. life on the set of Pearl Jam? How's life? I mean, dude, we just started first day. I mean, I don't do much. It's kind of like three Pearl Jam songs. I don't know who's <laughs> Joe. What? <laughs> Name five brothers right now. <laughs> No, it's been fun, dude. Phil's a great guy, really good script, and uh, I'm excited to be here, so. <laughs> here we have the center of the story. What's going on? How are we doing? Do I take this? Yeah. It's a little bike. I know, this is so cute. Uh, right? So dude, it's so convenient. Yeah, dude, that's actually so sick. Anyway. How is the, the shoot going for you? It's good so far. It's a little, like, stressful, but it's a little, it's, it's fun because there's a lot to, there's a lot still to do and a lot of places to go still, but yeah, this is, it's going to be a fun one, you know, it's going to be, I'm excited, I'm really excited to do it, you know, so, so far, so far so good, you know, and I think it's going to be a challenge tomorrow and stuff, but we're not fun. So, How did you find out about this production? What excited you to take the part? Um, well, I found out on backstage, as every out of work actor does, and I read Phil's description and I was like immediately you know you're intrigued by it and you want to do it because it's something that's very outside of the box outside of your type and everything and um once you once I read the script and they casted me after auditioning and stuff and I read the full script and I got a feel for it it really started to resonate and um yeah man hopefully it'll 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 turn into something good you know What's it like to spit blood? Fake blood, that oh, it's is. It's great. It's so fun because it looks, it probably looks horrendous, but for me, all I taste is like mint. So it's great. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You just taste mint and it's a little strange it's a little strange to get used to because it's not something you're you're not used to just having like blood in your mouth ready to go um, but once you're once it's good to go it's good to go you know so it's gonna be interesting um, the whole teeth pulling and a lot of blood going all over the place and everything but it'll be fun so what do you think of the set here today I love it I love it I'm so happy to be here um, I'm very grateful to be here. I'm excited to be here. This is like, you know, one of the first times that I that I'm like, yeah, man, this is this is a lot, and I'm really excited to be like a part of it. You know, so yeah, I'm grateful for it. So, Thank yeah. you for your time here. Of course. Cheers. Can we get a word from the director? Um. Yeah. What do you want to know? How has this experience so far lived up to your expectation or non-expectation? It's great. The lunch is god awful, though. Not <laughs> <laughs> fail. Um, 
it's fun. I'm I'm in it. You know, it's kind of hard to have perspective right now, but we're we're having fun. I'm learning a little magic. Um, <laughs> So it's it's all good. Please tell us your your name. I'm Harry. And and what do you do on this production? I'm the production sound mixer slash magician for yeah, the day. <laughs> I've noticed you've been playing some balloons tower defense today. <laughs> yeah, I just it's a horrible like a fun game. An old favorite. An old favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And that's that's been Pearl that's been jamming on Pearl. <laughs> Hello there. Please tell us your name and what you do on this set. Uh, my name's Aaron. I'm the fabricator who made the uh, the Pearl device for the movie. Is that in sight somewhere? Uh, it's packed up in a box right now. Do you want me to get it? Y yes, please please show us. Right. So uh, that was like terrible. At the very end of the shoot, it's like, yeah, this is like touching the camera. Like, I'm sorry. Goldfish. I'm sorry. Goldfish. Everything, and I'm sitting next to the DJ. It's got some lights. It's got, uh, I think it's like a little, some little heart. It's like, I think it didn't work. Oh my god. Yeah, I like that it worked. Yeah. We talked about it a lot. This is so cool. Uh, we haven't shot anything with it yet. I think we're doing that tomorrow, but uh, it's been awesome to be here. Phil and Morgan have been wonderful. Everyone I met here today has been really nice. It's been a good time so far. What's been the most enjoyable part of this production for you so far? Um, the amount of trust that Phil has put in me to put this together for him without ever having met until I got here today uh, has been really special. Uh, yeah. And just meeting everyone here has been awesome. Everyone's been really cool. We've been having fun. And uh, I'm really stoked to see how it comes out. It's great to hear. Let's see the contraption. And uh, there's going to be a tooth in there in this little holder here. And then we can get the Cool, man. Thanks for showing us. Yeah, no problem. And we're back. What up, what up? Okay, um, I'm super great to be here, super stoked, um, great crew, knowledgeable, talented, skilled, and yeah, uh, day one, there's two more days, and let's get it. So how did you find out about this production? Um, the producer slash AD reached out to me a couple of weeks ago and um, like asked to hop on, or asked if I would hop on, and I did. <laughs> How's your relationship with the other AC? Um, it's been super chill, super fun, like jokes all around, yeah. It's so fun. <laughs> Alright man, thanks for, for speaking to the people. You're welcome. <laughs> Can we get a word for the people? Word for the people. <laughs> there was nothing in my teeth. Um, I don't know. Well, yeah, I don't know what word for the people. Uh, How was your experience? We're here, so far? Pearl Jam, day one. Uh, half, what? Wait, can you start with your name and what you do on this? Yeah, set? Michael, uh, producer, AD, production, um, Phil Vernon, emotional support system, maybe. And. Uh, yeah, we're at day one of three. Um, just shot the opening of the film, um, and everything is looking looking great so far. Uh, Arnie is a little bloody, but he's only going to get more bloody throughout the day. Uh, and then um, the real carnage is tomorrow uh, for day two. So stay tuned. I saw you uh, making some faces during the blood. Tell us more. Yeah, I guess I don't always do totally well with uh, blood in person. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully, I can keep every keep my lunch down uh, this afternoon. Is that a worry later in the day? Yeah, not, not a worry. <laughs> Thanks for speaking to the people.
What's, should I text it to you or just? Wait, wait, wait let's spread them out. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I'm going to do it again tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> it will be funny. Yeah. Well, we're we're back to the, the back go to warm the people up. Anyway. <laughs> so tell us your name and what you do on this set. I'm Emu and I'm the gaffer on this set. How has your experience been so far? It's been very fun. It's a great crew. Good times. Who's your uh, Who's your best pal on this set so far? Leo, KG, Gaffer Duo, Dynamic. No, no, Connecticut. Not my state. Represent. Hondo K. Because I'm sure the railing even too like up here is. Or even under the steps. Uh, this is live lighting with Leo and live Emu. Mm -hmm. It's the mastermind right there. The, the light master. <laughs> brain cell one, brain cell two. <laughs> That's a great way to put it. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, got the fancy feet fancy. going. Pearl Jam on break. The Splinter group is out. We own, we own this house now. Yeah, it's mine now. <laughs> Looks like a microphone. Yeah, it's my house now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's open mic night now. How y'all doing tonight? <laughs> give us, give us a, a, a joke. I got nothing for you, dude. We need a joke. You think anything goes on in my head, bro? I got nothing for you. Zero. Empty head. No brain cells. None. Zero. Oh, sturdy, sturdy. Ah, ah, ah. Dude, you guys are about to be in for a ride. Here we go on the set of Pearl Jam a key grip meat bag. Beautiful. Get ready for the ride. <laughs> Alright, so you want me to do is somebody using that one? Somebody like screaming. Live on the set of Pearl Jam. Um, Splinter group is back. Yep, you're good. What is this? We are preparing for that. Oh. night scene. Um, let me get a cube tap. Wait, I keep forgetting you just have my mic at all times. <laughs> Just feeding into it. <laughs> I've just been gibbering just the whole time. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, um, oh, do you have that cube tap on you? Yeah. Can I borrow uh, that? It's in the back. It is? Oh, you'll see it. Like, Alright, awesome, yeah, thank right. you. Excuse me. How are we feeling about the exterior shoot? Oh, it went really well. Can you even get the audio or is Leo walking around with the mic? Oh, nice. It went really well, the exterior stuff. We were shooting in a busy crowd of people on the street, and honestly, we were about to send him on a bike through a crowd of people, and we were like, I don't know if it's gonna go, and then the crowd of people were like, dude, we wanna be in the movie, like, and they reset for us and like waited across the street when we like ran through them with the bike, so things went like better than expected. End of story. <laughs> uh, What's up? We meet again. What do you? What, what questions do you want to ask? <laughs> <laughs> I want your immediate emotions. Um, I'm tired. I really, we just finished a scene where he's eating a Chinese takeout box just over and over and over again. So that's all I want right now. I'm really craving takeout, like noodles in the fold-up box. So that's really all I'm thinking about right now. Where are you gonna go after this? 
uh, Phil's apartment and sleep in his living room. <laughs> <laughs> da -dun -dun. All right, word. Um, thoughts on the day? Very, um, I was very nervous to start. I was very, very nervous. Um, but we got relaxed into it. This, this space is incredible. So this was awesome to shoot in and be in and like out the windows, just like Manhattan, you know? So it was, it was awesome. Um, yeah, worked out a lot of things with Arnie, as you can see from my face. Um, we're kind of a little jacked up and stuff, but it was a lot, a lot of fun. I'm super excited to work with other actors tomorrow and get to really have a good, fun dialogue back and forth and be really intense and be really loud and fun and energetic and stuff, but also very humanistic and very truthful. Um, yeah, I'm just excited. I'm having so much fun doing this and I think this is going to be I'm so excited to see how it's going to come out just based off of what we've done today so what are you going to do when you go home tonight? me I'm not going home tonight I'm going to Phil's <laughs> um we're probably just going to hang out probably maybe eat some food and uh just rest and you know get a good night's sleep and stuff be up early in the morning for tomorrow and um once we yeah get cranking away tomorrow tomorrow's going to be a busy day where we're going to be a lot of shots, a lot of things, a lot of doing, a lot of work, and you know, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be worth it. And I think it's, I think we're making something really, really cool. So I'm excited. Look who's back! <laughs> right and early. Good morning. What time is it? Like nine? It's gotta be what, thirty-nine. Now? Let's see. Start off top of the day. It is. 8.53. Right now, back at it. Nothing crazy. Uh, should be a fun day, though. So we're back at it, day two. <laughs> I've literally never been interviewed before for BTS on a film, so. We have the lovely first AC here. Hello, hello everyone, welcome. Tell us what you're doing right now. Uh, I, right now I'm setting our camera up to check the flicker of these lights because it's all these house lights here and sometimes they don't match up with our shutter angle, so I'm just checking everything before we go up and start adding our own lights. Mm. Exciting stuff. Very exciting. Can't wait to see it. Up. This is gonna be is this the, for your personal records. This is for all the fans, you oh, know. For all the good. <laughs> when Pearl Jam blows up, they're gonna wanna know. There we go. <laughs> they're gonna wanna see how did it all come together. This is how it came together. Good people on this shoot though. Everyone knows what they're doing, so Things are flying by very smooth. Yesterday was really good, today's gonna be good too. We'll see how the subway stuff goes. <laughs> <laughs> Day two, back at it in costuming. This is David, he'll be helping you out. This is our star talent here. <laughs> I gotta put on my face or my costume and get my makeup. Okay. Um, and then I brought just two pairs of Got makeup going on over here. So great. Excited for uh, day number two. I like my little corner. Got this beautiful setup. Right? You should have seen it before I took the stuff out. It was all nice and organized. Bill Ruddy. Okay. Hi, Gordon Adelsberg. I am playing Steve. Steve is a venture capitalist. Little bit of a douche, but he's kind of funny. And he thinks the character is actually hilarious when he's doing all of his stupid stuff. So that's my role. Day's going pretty well overall. It's been a fun, uh, been a fun thing to film. Are you excited for your next appearance? I very much am. We still have a couple more hours of filming. Should be a lot of fun, actually. How do you feel about the special effects that are going to take I place? haven't seen it yet, but it looks really cool. Does I've it... never done much with special effects, so I'm very excited to see how this all turns out. Do you think it will gross you out? Yeah. 
which is part of that. But we already have that reaction on film, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, it'll be fun to see the, uh, the actual special effects. Anything the, uh, the people should know about you? About me? Um, this is an easy role for me to play because in my, uh, I also have a job where I deal with these kind of folks every day. So it's, unfortunately, this role is not much of a stretch for me. Fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it. Wonderful. Thank you for yeah, your time. You're quite welcome. Hi, I'm Sarah Parchisepi. I'm playing Joan, one of the younger um, members of the team that, uh, what's his name? Arnie is pitching to. Um, I think she has the most concern for Arnie out of everybody. <laughs> um, yeah. What's the There's... most exciting part of this role for you to play? I mean, I can't wait to watch the special effects. Um, but actually, the most well? exciting part is when I get to give Steve Gordon's character attitude because I he gets mad that I didn't put dressing on the side for a salad. <laughs> <laughs> I like any time I get to just give snark to somebody. So, mm -hmm. do you think the special effects will gross you out? I hope so. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do some real acting, so <laughs> I hope so. I mean, whatever she's got going up on there already looks a little... I don't understand how it's going to work, so I'm excited to see how it's going to actually, like, play out. All right, thank you for your time. Thank you. Hello. My name is Shauna Blaze. I don't normally sound like this, <laughs> but I am playing the role of Amanda, and... Um, yeah, I really love the character. She's a no-nonsense boss lady. Uh, and <laughs> I can see why I'm cast, because I'm a no-nonsense person. So I'm not doing a lot of acting right now. Um, it's been great working with my castmates. Uh, I've been definitely enjoying giving Ryan, who plays Arnie, attitude. Like, get the fuck out of my office kind of thing. It's pretty fun. Excited to see the special effects, yes. Um, anything to do with teeth and mouth and gums, it's going to be crazy. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm also looking forward to seeing just the mechanics of it and how that works. How do you feel about the, the space we're in today? Space is pretty, <clears throat> it's pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot like any other office, though, so, like we work. Um, so it's pretty, very well designed. Lots of light. Do you like that aspect of the space? Uh, well, yes, as my castmate Gordon was talking about earlier, lighting does matter. <laughs> Ask him Kardashian. <laughs> All right, thank you for your, your time today. Thank you. tired um coming down off of like all the intensity and stuff but um good i think i i think we we we, we served it right and i think we did a good job um i'm really excited to see how some stuff came out i'm after doing that that was awesome i can't wait to see how this thing comes out you know Dude, pull this fucking tooth. yeah pulled my tooth out so that was fun <laughs> a lot of blood but very fun. Um, yeah, it's like a whole other human being Arnie is, and 
It's really, that was a lot of fun. I was really, really nervous all day today. Super nervous for getting to those moments and stuff and being able to get all that right. But I think, uh, I think we got it, so. Tell the people about your jumping warm-up routine. Oh my, I just, it, it's just a way to get like the jitters out a bit, you know, just hopping around, shaking out your wrists and stuff. And um, yeah, it's just, it's just a good way to, to get yourself weirdly calm because you're getting all the energy that's building up in your feet and in your arms and stuff, trying to get that out and stuff, so that when the scene happens, you can you can do what you're supposed to, you know? So, yeah. So that's really the idea of it, you know? Get out the jitters, basically. And you told me about the subway scene. Tell the yeah. people more. Yeah, so we gotta go in the subway and I gotta look like this. <laughs> um, it's gonna be fun, though. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And what reactions do you expect from other Probably people? just a couple of looks and stares, and that's really it. Most, it's New York. They're not really, no one's really gonna be like, are you okay? I mean, maybe some good Samaritan would go like, are you okay? But I doubt it, you know, so. Now I heard a rumor that you saw the people you met on the street at a bar later <laughs> last night. <laughs> so we, um, yeah, so the people there, <clears throat> so when we were doing some of the, the, um, the road scenes with Arnie's on a city bike, um, we, I was riding through some people and later on I, we ran into them just on the street and I was like, hey, I'm sorry I yelled at you, like, we're filming a movie, don't worry. Um, and they were like, oh, that's so cool, that's so fun. And then we wrapped for the day and then we went to the diner just to grab a bite to eat and stuff. And um, then we just like, we're sitting down and these like four people walked in and I went, guys, I think those are the people from when we shot outside. And they were like, no way. So I went up and I introduced, and I just looked over and I was like, I don't know if you guys remember me from a few hours ago. And they went, oh my God, we remember you from a few hours ago. And I was like, that's so funny. Um, so we just chatted and stuff and they asked about the film and stuff. And it was a fun time, you know, so. So yeah, it was good. So crazy. Yeah, man. Um, so we're almost done with day two and then we're gonna move on to Tomorrow is going to be fun in the lab scene. Tomorrow is going to be a really fun day. A lot of movement and stuff. A lot of like, you know, energy and stuff that I'll get to do. You know, I'm more excited for tomorrow than I am nervous. Today I was nervous more than excited. Um, just because of, you know, actor crap. Um, but today I'm, today's almost done. Tomorrow I'm very excited for it because it's, it's one of the more, it's just a very fun scene tomorrow where we're arguing and everything and going back and forth and everything. This was this was getting to like some real shit, you know, but it was fun. It was really fun. So today went very, very well. This is a great place. Um, I'm, again, so grateful to be a part of this. Do you think you got to see a new side of yourself in terms of potential as an actor today? Yeah. Um, I've never seen myself like with more of a scruff on my face, my hair really matted and stuff. It's, um, it's super outside of like my type and it's super outside of what I've been cast as and what I, the work I have done as, you know, as an actor, quote unquote. Um, and I think it's really exciting that I'm getting to do it, that I'm getting to really shift into a part and shift into something that has a lot of uh, ground underneath it, has a lot of, um, a lot of, room to play and room to experiment and play and things like that and that's definitely what Arnie is you know he he changes and he moves and everything's always different and that's what's been really really fun you know so yeah I feel like you've really found Arnie what's that yesterday. Like, you really found the character. A little bit know. today I mean th this is the climax it's kind of like you once you um, once you experience the once you actually experience what the character is kind of going through, in a way, um, I think that's where you know him the best, finally. Um, because you can read it on a script, you can read everything that they go through on the script, but and your empathy, you can feel for them and, and <clears throat> sort of break it down and everything. But once you do the scene, once you really do the scene over and over again, and you put your and you're in that mind space for a long time, you your empathy grows even more for them, but then you also, I think you find something so much deeper because you, the, you know, when they're showing the most human levels of themselves, that's where you connect with them the absolute most. And sometimes that line can't be connected until you've done that scene where 
you as a human being, as the actor, has have gone that way for the character, and the char where the character and the actor have both gone to those emotional heights and those emotional peaks. That's when almost you know you you connect. You know. Now I gotta go. See you. Any words? Any words? We're getting ready for the first shot of the day, but it's sad. <laughs> You're so blurry. Am I? Oh, there you go. Minimal focus. Getting ready for the first shot of the day. All the lights set. Okay. Uh, should be interesting. Awesome location. Sure. All right, so this is my boy Ryan. This is my boy Leo. <laughs> and he is playing Arnie for Phil's short film this weekend. What are you doing on this again? Uh, Second AC? Uh, no? No, key grip. Key grip. And key grip. I, I just kind of carry stands, though. That too. So, I mean, yeah, I hold a lot of metal poles. Heard. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Um, how, how have you liked the production so far? Dude, this is so much fun. I've had the best time in the past three days. I don't know about you, but... Yeah, no, it's been great. We've been staying in the same room for the same <laughs> three room. nights, so three it's days. been so fun. Um, yeah, no, everyone's great. Everyone everyone has been great. We were literally, we talked about it all night last all night. The like, all the time. Everybody that's working on this film has been phenomenal. Has, like, ev there's been no issues on set. If there is, something gets fixed immediately like I've never felt in, I've never felt insecure as an actor to ask for something or to be like this is what I need to do my job like I don't know if you feel likewise and stuff but oh like, absolutely dude everybody's been on everybody's point. on their stuff yeah man it's been it's been pretty great yeah no <laughs> vape <laughs> no lav mic <laughs> casting crew casting crew vapes <laughs> the Connecticut crew the we're talking Okay, we're all in. sitting in like a 10 by 10 foot room together. It's so great. <laughs> all three of us. Phil like really is really trying to get us out of there, but it's just not going to happen. You know, all of us have been having so fun. We're kind of like, so yeah, much fun. we're just going to stay. Even though there's like an air mattress ready or a couch somewhere else, we're like, all right, this is what we're doing. Keeping the bond doors open. <laughs> 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 oh my god, dude. Oh. <laughs> so, no, we've had we've had so much fun. Um, and uh, it's so much fun, but also the work has been so great. It's like, been great, dude. I mean, like, from like a technical standpoint, it really hasn't been anything crazy. Yeah. Like, it's been like, okay, we're going to do like, you know, a light here, moving some other like yeah, negative but I, also, I also feel like just like for me watching you guys work yeah. too is like, like I might be in my thing watching you guys work and doing my own thing, but like, you guys are, it's almost like there's no like downtime. Like things are getting set up so quickly that I can stay in, yeah. in my zone and stuff. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Alex, you're literally like right there with a slate. Like yeah, if, seriously. Uh, there's never anything that goes, that goes, there's never any downtime. Like when it's working time, like, and I'm set, like yesterday exactly mm -hmm. was like that. I'm set, all right, actors are set, camera set, let's go. Just get it rolling, go, go, get it go, rolling. go, 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 yeah. go, and it, and it just makes us such a good momentum to work with that there's never a time where I might get paranoid that I'm 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 gonna lose something or I'm gonna lose the momentum and like because the momentum is just moving and moving and that's that's what we need and that's what we're getting all the time. So we're gonna finish today and it's gonna be great. Yeah, you know, sure. we're almost ready. You know. Do I have words? I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm speechless, dude. Here. Wait, can I have your vape too? No, you can't actually. This is like you know what I'm gonna fixation do? of. I'm gonna sit in this chair. Smoking a vape, but I can't do anything with and it. I actually gonna, have to here, give gonna something take, to it rather. I'm gonna than, take Ryan's seat. There you go. And I'm also gonna take my own vape, and I'm gonna rip it. All right, vape. all right. Things are going good. We're kind of at the at the tail end close out of this thing. Um, we had a whole powwow last night about just how great things are going, and uh, 
I just want to finish strong. So that whenever I talk, say words about things going great, I always get really freaked out of like, okay, I need to keep it consistent of like keeping things great. You know, I don't want to jinx anything. Mm -hmm. So things are pretty awesome right now. Just kind of a somber closeout. We finished all the outside stuff that kind of freaked me out a little bit just because they're putting lenses over concrete and the camera's flying around New York City. But right now we got all that done and it came out really good. And uh, now we're in the chill science lab and we're just going to finish the movie there. So I'm feeling really good, but I'm not dropping the ball and I'm staying on my toes. Yeah, right on his Leo. toes. Not dropping the ball or lens, more importantly. No. So, yo, Chill. <laughs> I got it, dog. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Any other questions? I feel yeah, like... no, wait. Yeah, do you have a question for us? Here, I'll go like this. Yeah, the scene's on the bottom of the scene. <laughs> Someone like myself, I've worked on plenty of sets where there's been BTS people, and I usually get my photo taken, and I see it months later. I've never been interviewed before, <laughs> which I have to give you mad props for. What made you think, what, what was, like, the inciting thing of I need to interview people and um, how's it been going? The inciting thing has been that the people want to know what goes on. <laughs> you know, we're, we're building stories, you know, with film and people want to know the stories of the people behind the film. So, trying to give them the insider's perspective. So, I guess leading into that, what was what's your favorite interview you've done so far? Um, My favorite interview is like yesterday after the tooth pull scene. I got to talk to. Um, well, I'm spacing on his name. Our, our lead, our lead, yeah. Ryan. <laughs> a Ryan, yeah. our lead actor. And he had uh, some very interesting insights into like what goes on um, in his mind between takes and his approach to acting and like how he's grown. So I think that's super cool to see like where someone's at in their journey and like maybe years later he'll look back on that and be like, damn, that was look how far I've come, you know? Right on. Do you want to do more documentary work after uh, doing all these interviews with the cast and crew? Dude, we were talking about Could be. You would do some dope Could be in store. Uh, I do enjoy interviewing people, you know? People want the tea and life. I feel like we don't talk to a lot of people now that we're all just scrolling on our screens. So uh, it's nice to just hear from people in a candid way. Right on. I think that does it for our interview behind the scenes. Oh, you need to let him in. You get to. <laughs> All right, that, 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 about, that about does it for the interview. This concludes our interview of the interviewer, <laughs> Zach. And uh, we're back in five, so we, uh, we'll see you later. Do we have any final words? Uh, Phil, uh, you're you're a crazy motherfucker for coming up with this movie. Um, we're crazy for helping you, and I'm so excited to see it. Um, and you're welcome. That's what I have to say. And you're welcome. <laughs> no, it's been really fun and uh, crazy and exciting. Um, and hi, mom. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just glad to have been here and done this. Cheers. Cheers. I love Mike, cheers. Here we go. We are going up to my crib. Hold on. We'll start like walking into the lab. Alright, we're in. Here we go. Up the stairs. Nothing fancy. All right, here we are. This is this is my crib. Welcome to uh, Meatbag Cribs. You know, down our nice, spacious hallway with our our underglow lighting here. Got some nice, fancy overheads. Sound guy booth. It's fire.
All right, and here we are. Welcome to my lab, Dexter's Laboratory. What do you know about it, huh? All right, here we got, um, we got some crazy um, computer and styrofoam boxes. Built that myself um, in two hours, actually, yeah. All by myself, I built all the components too. Then we have a, we have a lamp. Nice lamp. And then this is actually um, shows you what happens when gums shrink. If you got those problems, I guess I don't know. If that's a common thing. <laughs> Here we got a uh, nice aperture uh, 600D Pro. On so a, that's how it works. On a C stand, actually. Well, our our wonderful gaffer Emu is working right now, so I don't want to I don't want to kill her light right now. So I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, there's a there's a button on it. Shuts it off. Then we got some uh, some negative fill. We have Philip Vernon's tube. Pause. <laughs> and then here we have uh, actually that's that's my gene splicer right there. If you want to take a look at that, yeah, brand new, two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and uh, you can make any creature that you want. You just kind of like type it in it's like AI you type it in the AI picks out like what the creature should look like and it'll uh, do it from there on its own yeah it's kind of cool this is a, uh, a Pilates machine right here it just gets you in the perfect rhythm for Pilates so you know if you're trying to I like hula hoop actually too it's really good for hula hoop getting your hips in rhythm yeah it's great it's not working for me though for some reason I don't know why it's weird piece of shit and uh yeah a couple fridges for all your uh your beer and booze needs and uh yeah that's 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 the crib that's it hope you enjoyed the tour peace <laughs> all right before i go we gotta get final words from the director <sighs> we're in the final stretch everyone's done a great job i'm probably the weak link but you know that's just usually how it is on a film um really really happy with everything and you know I'm in my feels now because we're, we're the finish line is in sight so you know shout out Pearl Jam crew we all are the best shout out Zach our documentarian and uh, see you all in the next one